online. Yes, Siri, what is it? You should tell the students about the features on our cameras. You're right! Now. Hi everybody, Mike again with another episode of Mike's Epic Podcast. This time with the HMC 150 from Panasonic, we want to look at the audio input. What are the different ways that you're going to connect the microphone or not to this particular camera? So on the side of the Panasonic are the settings for which channel we're going to use for what input. On the side of the camera here, these are the connectors for the XLR cable. So this is a three-pronged XLR cable, and it's going to go into these microphone uh, inputs. Or on the top here, we've got an internal microphone. So left and right, it says, for the stereo, in a sense, microphones coming in. Now, if we are going to be uh, miking up the talent or, or someone's actually be talking or, or doing some real audio for your project, you're going to want to have a lavalier connected microphone or a handheld microphone of some kind like that. The internal microphone and the distance that it has to go to your audio source is always going to be unacceptable you need to get the microphone as close to the audio source as possible. So uh, let's say we're doing the setup in which this is the primary camera and we're gonna have a handheld microphone for an on the street reporter. How are we gonna set that up? On the side of our camera for our settings, we have channel one and channel two. That's relating to left and right stereo. So left being channel one and right being channel two. Now we can tell our channels which input to take. Should they take the internal microphone for the left side? Should they take input one or input two? So there's several different situations. It might be that you're going to have two microphones one into channel one and one into channel two, or input one and input two, and then channel one and channel two, and you've got two people talking on the street with a handheld microphone. But most of the time you just have the one source, and in that regard, we want to get both left and right channels to receive that input. Now we can see that channel two only s receives input two or the internal microphone. So if we set that to input two, we're going to also want to select our channel one to receive from input two. Now, on the side of the camera, we see that input two is on the bottom here. Input two is on the bottom. We're going to plug our connector into input two. So it clicks. Make sure that the impedance is set to microphone, not a line input. And now we would make sure that on the bottom edge here, we're set to manual. And we're going to adjust our audio level here with these dials. So on the screen, can you get that shot, Dan? So on the screen, there's a little line here at minus 12 decibels. And as I talk or touch the microphone, I can see that it's coming through that channel. Now I want to average at that line. So let me dial this down a little bit, make them about the same, and average at that line as I'm talking normally. 
and that's going to be a good audio level coming in. So watch those lines for your audio level. The next thing you're going to want to do is plug in some headphones and the headphones get plugged in in the back here under this plastic cover and they go right in here because sometimes you're going to get interference um, through wireless communications, uh, telephones, refrigerators, airplanes can cause interference and you won't necessarily hear it in the air or you might be looking away and not see it on the screen so you're going to wear headphones all the time and then here is the audio monitor plus or minus to set the volume for your headphones but always set the volume according to the line on the screen for your input and then adjust your headphones to listen to it comfortably now that's the situation when you have one audio input and you're going to plug that into the uh, channel 2 if we have a different camera as our primary audio source and this camera is just going to be uh, backup we always want to have a reference audio so this should be capturing some audio even if it's not the primary camera and in that situation we're going to make sure that these are both receiving from the internal microphone and that's going to be the microphone that's up here on top of the camera that cannot be a primary audio receiver there's too much room noise and hiss between your source and this microphone. This is always a secondary reference microphone. Now some cameras have an extra microphone connected like our AF100 has an external microphone that's a telescoping shotgun mic that receives a signal more straightforward but that too is never good enough to be the primary audio source and so even though we've plugged it into line 2 or input 2 rather set that to mic on this side of the camera we're always going to change this to receive both channels to the input number 2 and use that as a reference audio uh, this camera does have a built-in microphone but it's not as nice as having a little short shotgun mic pointing straight ahead but again the short shotgun mics are always used for reference audio not your primary audio so I hope that uh, gets you going even further some of the details on the Panasonic HMC 150 go get them <laughs>